Hey guys, Reese here with 3D Flight. Today, I want to show you an RC plane launcher that we made using 3D printed parts, some PVC, uh, some rubber bands, and some zip ties. So, now this is a great solution for if you have a belly lander airplane that you're just not comfortable launching on your own, and you don't have anyone there to give you an assistant launch. We've had that happen a couple times, so that's why we developed this. Now, when making this, we want it to be collapsible so it's easy to transport, uh, easy to store, easy to set up and tear down, and and the last thing we wanted was we wanted it to be cost effective. So this is a great DIY project that's fun to make and fun to try out. And we know there's solutions out there like the Hobby King Bungee Launcher, but sometimes it's funner to just make things with your 3D printer. Now, so we'll post these files to a site like Thingiverse or and our website and we'll make them all free to download. So we'll hope you try it out. All right, so out here, and I'm about to show you how to build up our plane launcher. Now, you're gonna wanna keep in mind that we have two main construction methods. There's gonna be a zip tie method, which holds a piece fixed onto the PVC pipe, and a detent method, which, keeps, uh, which allows pieces to be removable. Um, now, with the detent, it's gonna be anywhere where you have this circular entry hole, and you're gonna just drill with a 5 16th drill bit um, and slide your detent in. And then anywhere where there's these oblong holes, you're gonna drill with a uh, quarter inch drill bit and then slip your zip tie through and pull it tight. So for the detents, it's pretty self-explanatory, but um, you're just gonna drill with a 5 16 drill bit um, where I marked earlier, and then take your detent, slide it in the end, try and line it up, push it in there as much as possible, and then use whatever you can to just go ahead and finish off. Might need a piece of wire here. There you go. Detent's ready to snap back in. So with the frame built up, the last thing to do is add the bungee. Um, the way we built this was just lots of rubber bands looped together. Um, I think they're number 32 rubber bands. We'll make sure to place that in the instruction manual and, um, and in the description down below. Uh, there are number 32 rubber bands. There's uh, seven strands of 12 looped together. Um, and that makes up your entire bungee. You can use whatever material you want. Um, we just figured that this would be a nice and easily ready material. So um, just loop it through one end of this eyelet here and through the other end and go ahead and place it on your crossbar on the front.
All right, so we've made it out to where I'm gonna test this guy out and fly some airplanes. Uh, if you'll remember earlier in the video, I said that I wanted this thing to be easy to set up uh, and fast to set up. I tried this out earlier, it took about three minutes, and uh, I considered that pretty fast to set up. Also, it's really nice that if the wind changes on you, you just go ahead and pick it up and move it, or rotate it. Um, let's go set this guy up. So I wanted to leave you with a few things. Remember to keep your prop horizontal or parallel to that front crossbar. That way it doesn't have any chance of contacting that front crossbar as you're coming up off the platform. Also, you're gonna wanna avoid spinning up your motor until after your plane has left that platform for the same reason. Lastly, if you like what we're doing here, please go ahead and subscribe to our channel. We'd really appreciate it. And we'll see you next time.